Hey, how's it going guys and welcome back. With the somewhat recent reveal of Digimon Con 2023, I and many others within the Digimon fanbase are starting to really think about and discuss what the upcoming con might have in store for the franchise. Now, if you don't know, the Digimon Con is essentially a live stream that features several hours of Digimon content, ranging from the anime to the games to the TCG and beyond, and it originated last year with Digimon Con 2022. After the release of the first one, I was very curious as to whether or not it would continue to be a thing or if it was just like a one-off or maybe something they do every few years rather than annually, but it does look like that this will be an annual event and that makes me pretty happy because even if there isn't anything massive to reveal, it's still nice to have a Digimon related spectacle that Western viewers can enjoy and that kind of acts as a reminder that the Digimon franchise has not forgotten about the West completely. That said, today I want to talk about some of what I think they'll be showing off at the event and more so what I hope they'll be showing off because with last year being the first of its kind a lot of people had various criticisms about the content present and with me to a much lesser degree having had the first iteration of my own event last year that being the monster taming direct I can definitely empathize and relate with that since there were many aspects of the direct as well that I want to approve upon anyways all of that being said before we dive in just know that I will be mostly going over the con from a video game perspective I don't follow the TCG myself and I mean I like the Digimon anime but haven't been keeping up with Adventure 2020 or even Ghost Games. So I definitely have some catching up to do on that front, but we'll mostly be sticking to video games because that's my sort of main interest. Now, I mean, if they do release some really cool Digimon merch, I might have to cop it, but that's besides the point. Anyways, let's dive in. Okay, so first things first, and I've mentioned this a few times now throughout various videos on my channel, but the Digimon developers have stated that there are currently multiple Digimon projects in the works as far as the video games are concerned. We know at least one of these projects is the next iteration of the Digimon Story series, which if you don't know, the last installments that we got here were the Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth and Hacker's Memory games. And we also know that they've been working on Digimon World Next Order as well. That said, when they use the term multiple, well, I guess technically multiple could refer to more than one that being two. Let's be real for a second. When people use that term, they generally mean three or more. So I am hoping that we get some more information on what exactly these other games they're working on are. Now that said, I don't expect them to be working on three or more brand new games created from the ground up. In fact, I do suspect that the only brand new title they're currently working on is going to be this Digimon story game. However, it sort of makes you wonder, well, what else could they be working on? And honestly, I think we're likely going to get some sort of port for previous Digimon titles on current hardware. I actually did make a video talking about the top three games that I'd like to see, given either a remake, a port, or a remaster in this video linked below. But I think if any games are going to get ported over, which is the most likely scenario i don't see them making full remakes or even remastering a lot of these games but either way i think there's a good chance we could see any of the digimon world ps1 titles anything from the portable playstation consoles but as far as the ds and 3ds digimon games are concerned i personally don't see that happening unless they remake them from the ground up because these games are made with dual screens in mind and from what i've seen thus far with many games from varying studios is that 3ds games specifically don't tend to get ported that much that said and i've said this already I am hoping that they announce English translations for some of their past games that never made it to the West. My top contender is Digimon Adventure PSP, which is a title we've been recently looking into on my channel using a fan translation. I think this game would do perfectly on the Switch because it's literally made for handheld consoles, captures that sort of old school Digimon nostalgia, and for a PSP game looks pretty damn good. I don't know how likely this is, but I'm just hoping we get more Japan exclusive Digimon games brought over here because the West needs more monster taming games like it. As far as what else I expect from the gaming side of things, I do expect them to show off more of Digimon World Next Order. Now, I don't know how interesting that would be because the game did come out in 2016 for PS4, so I'd imagine the Nintendo Switch port is not going to be more visually appealing than the version of the game that's on a more powerful console. However, I do know that there will be some Switch exclusive options. They'll show some of that off, which makes a lot of sense because the game's coming out 11 days after. Finally, and maybe I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself, but I'm really hoping that they show some sort of teaser from the new Digimon story game that's in the works. We don't really know a whole lot about the game other than what I explored in this video, which basically includes that the game's gonna take place in the digital world, the Olympus 12 will have something to do with it, etc. Now that being said, last year's con spent a lot of time in the game section just doing a sort of Q&A, and I feel like most of the interesting questions about the upcoming Digimon story game have already been asked in that segment, so I'm hoping that if they do do Q&A related stuff, they spend a lot less time on that and focus more on showcasing actual gameplay and talking 
talking about other upcoming projects. I also expect them to talk a little bit about Digimon Survive and its relative success given the type of game it is, that being a pretty niche concept and that it's a cross between a tactical RPG and a visual novel but still sold over 500,000 copies. So they might give us a little information about that being a W for them. But honestly, I'm just hoping we get a lot more video game content this time around than we did before. A lot of people expressed disappointment from the last Digimon Con stating that it lasted too long because if you don't know, it's like five or six hours with like an hour or so relegated to each aspect of the franchise. But honestly, that doesn't bother me too much because if you're not interested in the card game, you don't have to sit through that section. Like if you only want video game content, you don't have to sit through all of the present presentation, but I do understand why some people might have felt it was a little disappointing based on Digimon game news specifically. Anyways, all that being said, just a quick video discussing what I'm hoping to and what I think we'll see at the Digimon Con. This is all based on my own thoughts and what I think makes sense, but you guys make sure to let me know in the comments what you're hoping to see come to fruition at this year's Digimon Con, and you don't have to just leave it to video game content specifically. Let me know in general what sort of Digimon content you'd like. That said, I'm hoping to be streaming the event myself. We'll sort of do a reaction, hang out for the long haul. I can give you guys a more concrete confirmation closer to the date when I get my work schedule. But other than that, make sure to subscribe if you're a Digimon fan or like daily monster taming content. You can check out my Twitter, Discord, and Patreon linked below. Special thanks to the patrons, especially Jim Hamilton, Drogo, Ghost, Dark Persona, and Exodus. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace.